that's the unboxing. Um, now on to the business of spot welding. Uh, I had to cut and paste the uh, uh, Asian plug off of this and stick on a, a UK plug. I'm hoping that this outlet, which is 13 amps all the way through, is okay. I've heard stories in the US that it needs 20 amps, but at 110 volts, uh, that may be the case, but this is running at 240 volts, so I'm hoping my 13 amp circuit will be just fine. Now this thing comes with, equipped with a charging port, uh, but without any voltage cutoff uh, control on it, it's not just useless, it's a liability where lithium ion is concerned. I guess perhaps the transformer inside maybe had an extra or a spare tap and they've decided to put it to use. Well, I shan't be using it. So we have two switches up here, one for the charger and one for the welder. I think just in case I'll stick the charger on first, it obviously draws a lower current, I think maximum 3 amps, so... Oh! Ah! Oh right, the, the welder's come on, okay. I, uh, let me turn that off. Let me put the welding switch on. Okay, they, they've been cross-wired. <laughs> Well, at least I know the welder hasn't tripped the circuit. Let me pop that back on again. I guess that QC sticker on the back uh, stands for quickly checked or something. Well, as a first test, I won't use my fabulous new own company cells of radonite. I'll try and do it on a crappy little AA primary cell if I can find one. Um, okay, here, we've got one of the world's worst primary cells, the Deu. Um, double A, triple double A. Let me get uh, one of the strips that comes with the unit. These are painfully thin strips. Now I don't plan on using any strips as such on these radonite cells to put this. I have to put an e-bike battery together. I'll be using the perforated strips that cuts out all that uh, fiddly little short lengths of strips to bridge across P and S connections. I don't know why people do that sort of stuff when there's a perfectly reasonable solution with uh, separators and uh, perforated strips. So let me try and balance this on here. This is the tiny thin strip that comes with the unit. And I just push up and I should get, well it's, it's set on the default setting that is, that's 40 current and 2 pulse. I don't know if that's amps, uh, maybe it is. And we just push up. Oops. Take two. That's yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty fine. I, I, it's it's uh, substantially substantial. Okay, but that's that crappy thin strip. So I've got some uh, proper 0.15 strip here. If you're running anything uh, decent in the way of current through lithium ion, you, you want uh, you want a, t a fairly decent strip. Let me try getting a bit of this off and try it on the same uh, cell. Uh, cut a bit off. Uh, let me try another cheapo cell. Hey, another Deu. That'll be the Deu. Right. Now this is 0.15. It is definitely thicker than this stuff. Um, and this is rated up to 0.15 on some specs. And 0.18 on others. Okay. Right, well one... Okay, that didn't seem to work. Let me try turning the current up a little bit. Right. Okay, I'll leave it at that and I'll turn it up to 45. And we'll leave it at two pulses. Let me try again. Yeah, it's uh, slightly better. Both uh, spots have held. Now the disc in here is turning around, so that's not moving. It's welded itself quite substantially to the... Try and pull it off. 
yeah, it pulls off. Maybe I'll pop it up to 50. Right, get another strip. Try again. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me try and get the pliers on that. Well, yep, yeah, that's that's on. 50, 50 seems to do the trick with 0.15. Oh, yeah, it comes off, but you have to really pull it. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, so out the box, 40 and 2 with the strips seems to do the trick. I guess the 2 is a 2 pulse. And I did hear two thuds when, when I uh, pushed the, the contacts up. Um, so out of the box, this stuff, you ha it's, it's okay with 40 and 2, but if you're using 0.15, I suggest you use it at least 50 uh, and 2 pulse. Well, uh, if you found it, the unboxing and the quick test any use at all, then uh, down below you'll find the thumbs up and it's just a click away. Cheers!